Can't believe you wore black leggings and a black top. You wouldn't catch black me everything. wearing anything stupid like thick jogging bottoms. <laughs> We have money, yes. The last stop before we head over to Senya was the ATM just to pick up a little bit of Corona. And yeah, it's always good to have a tiny bit of cash with you. This is only about, um, what, 40 euros, 40 pounds worth, just in case there's any parking or things like that. Generally we'll pay on cards, but yeah. And now we're heading over to this epic little island. So we made it, we are on Senya. And what a drive it's been. We crossed the bridge, an amazing bridge to get to the islands and on the southeastern side, it's very green. Not quite what we're expecting, more hillsides than jagged mountains. But now, uh, you get a little bit north and then all of a sudden, boom, there they are. There is the absolute epicness. Now we are in Hosoi, if that's pronounced correctly, which is a crazy little place. It's proper isolated little fishing village. We came through a tunnel to get here and then down a steep hill. And this little fishing village sits on like an island and it's only joined to the main Rocky Mountain mainland by a small road. Crazy little place. This little bit, bit here is like a, a really nicely done rockery garden with little passageways. So nicely done and there's nobody here. Just us. Could you believe it? How can somewhere be this blinking amazing and there's nobody here? Apart from all the people that live in the village of course. It's fantastic. <laughs> be prepared for all weathers in Norway at all times so socks and sandals are quite a good idea I wish I bought my shorts and um, yeah because it's really hot now and I'm boiling and it's dripping off oh look at this vest top under t-shirts Charlie oh Charlie what are you doing in there it's getting too hot for you <laughs> We have literally just had a sudden panic attack because whilst I was taking my clothes off, Charlie disappeared. Like he was there a second ago. Where is he? Where is he? He got himself under here in the shade. We've just discovered something amazing. Baked bean pasta with sweet chili. Thai sweet chili. Like we knew this meal was gonna be a little bit plain because it is just baked bean pasta, but that's fine. But then we added the sweet chili and something magical has happened in that bowl. So after our lovely Thai bean sweet chili pasta, <laughs> the meal of champions, um, we thought we'd best come back to the boardwalk. Unfortunately, the sun's gone in a bit, a bit of cloud cover, but why do we have to come back, darling? Right, so while we were having lunch, we checked the map and we discovered 
this point out here is the furthest north we will be going on this trip. So we thought, oh, we didn't do a special thing or we didn't think about it when we were out here. So, so we back. had to come back and just soak it all up and, and realise what we've accomplished. Yes. Travelling from the southern tip of Europe to almost the northern tip of Europe. The boys are in the van because they're exhausted still. Mm. So we just jumped on the bikes to get back here. And um, even though it's gone really cloudy, it still looks pretty awesome, doesn't it? It's quite surreal now though, because it's it's just death, deathly quiet. There's yeah. no fishing boats. I don't know where there's a storm coming. We've got a hike over down to the rocks because we have to go the furthest north, literally that we can. So we have to get right down to the ocean. So it's a little bit of a hike. on the northernmost point we are going to make it on this trip and I think we can be pretty proud of ourselves. This is our final destination from when we left sunny climates of Andalusia deep south in Europe. Yeah we were just hoping we'd get this far. Yeah it was kind of like the Lofoten Islands and then we decided that we were going to come here which is a little bit more north instead and we feel so damn good that we've made it. So now we've reached this most northern point of our trip, we're going to relax for a little while. We've done a lot of driving, well it seems like a lot of driving in Old Vinster. It is a lot of driving. Yeah, <laughs> it's a long way from southern Spain. And we've seen loads of beautiful places already and it's been totally ace. A few ups and downs mm. but I mean it's just been such a great trip already but, but now... You, but you may have heard us say once or twice if only we had more time we'd, we'd spend more longer here and we'd see more here. Well that time has come. We haven't got a set plan on where we're going to be or how long in each place or whatever. We're just going to relax and enjoy it. So yes, let the holiday and the relaxation, we don't relax that much do let's face it. But make yourself a cup of tea or grab yourself a beer and sit back because you're about to witness some epicness. So just on our little way back to the van through this cute little fishing village of Husoy. Thought it'd just give you a bit of background information on the place. So it's 52 kilometers, well that point is 52 kilometers south of Tromso as the crow flies. It has a population of around 300 people only. So it's got a primary school here as well as a secondary school which is quite crazy considering the small population it's got a supermarket it's got a chapel and, and a pub most importantly it's a very very pretty little town also the causeway that's here has only been here a very short amount of time so this island was only reachable by boat not that long ago so mm. it's quite crazy quite yeah it's just a little was just a little island sat in this bay surrounded by these epic yeah. jagged mountain. Right. First hike in Norway. It's got a little bit late in the day quarter to ten, loads of flies, it's gone very grey but we're doing it anyway. It's kind of over the scenery that we've been and spent the day in today so we wanted to get it from a different perspective and feels good. The dogs are with us, it's apparently an easier hike, about two hours there and back so not too bad and yes we better go before the flies get us. Climbing up to one of the peaks by no means 
one of the biggest in Senya, but it gives great views down to that lovely bay and Hosoi, the little isolated town we saw, so should be cool. Come on, good boy. Good boy, come here, come here. Come here, Charlie, here. Good boy, Charlie. This? This. Yeah, we love to let the boys just have the freedom to run around and go on these hikes willy-nilly without their leads, but just seeing a little tiny bird just jump out of the bushes, like literally centimetres away. It's a really steep drop just there, um, you know, 20 metres from where I'm standing. I don't want the boys to be chasing that little bird and go, woo, and experience flying themselves. This is not a bad first hike after I broke my rib at the start of the trip, is it? And you know what? Loads more to come. Or maybe not. That is the third time today that Sarah has slipped. She's trod on some rocks that are a little bit not quite steady. When she says the ground's unsteady, she actually means her. <laughs> yeah, but like, I do Ooh. trip and fall and things quite often. <clears throat> Usually quite well, but there has been times where I've, obviously I've done myself some damage too. But a little bit worrying as we're <laughs> going to be doing loads of hikes up really steep mountains. Yeah, the mountain or the peak or the summit is called Reven. And how tall? Oh gosh, I don't know. It's a really awesome view from up here, even though it is quite cloudy. We're going to set up some time lapses to stay up here for a little while, but one clouds aren't moving really at all so no good for and that the and the flies are really annoying the dogs and us a little bit yeah the mosquitoes are gone but now there's just loads of flies swarming around us you can't win no matter what you do so i think we're just gonna make the most of the internet just uploaded a video tonight so if we don't reply to the messages right away i'm not sure what when this is going to be received not making sense. No, it's not going to make any sense. Yeah, we're just making the most of the internet to reply to some of your messages because we've got 4G full bars up here because of that antenna. Nothing in the valley where we're going to spend the night. Um, and then we're going to head back down. May or may not get the drone out. It's dizzy, as you know, hates yeah, it. And we're on the edge of big, steep drops. So probably not the best idea. No, it's okay, it's okay. Charlie, the fly is pissing you off. Fly is annoying you. Oh, we're gonna go in a minute. Yeah, time to go, I think. Yeah. They don't like flies. Nobody likes flies, yeah. do they? We should have bought the fly squatters. Gutted we didn't bring the fly squatters. We're having a right good time up here. We could have had like, a fly squat in the competition. Swatting, not swatting, squatting. Swatting, swatting. <laughs> don't get them to crouch down, do you? We're all back at the van. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. And the boys, they were literally playing chase, running back down that mountain right till we got to the van. They are going to sleep. I mean, excuse me. <laughs> There's a lot of mosquitoes out here. Right, okay, time to go. We Loads need to get of flies. In. Loads go of mosquitoes. We're going to find somewhere to park up for the night because we're not parking here. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and hit that like button below. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, then please do and keep the comments coming because we absolutely love to hear from you. And we'll see you in the next video.